Hi guys, BTech here. In earlier video, I show you guys how to increase frame rate of movies using frame generation. Today I'm going to test it on this low end device I'm gaming. The laptop I'm going to use for this is HP 242 G1 from 2013. And let's see how this beast performs. So this device is equipped with Intel Core i5-3230 mCPU, and I have paired it with eight gigabytes of dual channel memory and OS is running on SSD. So first game that I'm gonna test is Assassin's Creed Rogue. As you guys can see, usually this game runs more than 30 FPS on lowest settings on this device. Currently I have capped it to 30 FPS. So let's remove it first and see what's the maximum frames we can get here. As you can see, maximum it can get is around 34 to 36 FPS. Now let's cap it to 30 FPS again, and let's enable the frame generation at two times. Now you can see the original frame rate of the game has gone down to 14 FPS, and the total frame rate with generated frames are 26 to 28 FPS. You can see this in the top left corner. It feels much worse now. Let's see, three times frame generation can help it. Unfortunately, the little Intel 4000 graphics can't handle more than 28 generated frames. So we test this in lowest settings. Now let's max out the graphics and see how much frame rate we will get. Now we are getting 15 FPS, which doesn't feel good. Let's enable frame generation now. Unfortunately, it's the same thing. Now the base frame rate has gone down to seven FPS and the total frame rate with generated frames are 14 FTS. This is totally unusable. Let's move on to another game and see there is a hope for low end gamers. This is Driver San Francisco, which is a well-optimized game with great story. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. So we are on highest settings now. Let's disable VSync in full screen mode and start the game. As you can see, it's now getting around 50 FPS right now, which is great. Now let's cap it to 30 FPS and see whether we can get sweet 60 FPS smoothness. Unfortunately, is not doable here, as you can see. Now the base frame rate has gone down to 22 FPS, and the total FPS with generated frames are 30 FPS. Seems like the GPU is not powerful enough to provide more than 30 FPS while gaming. So in conclusion, gamers who are using Intel Graphics 4000 or below can't benefit from frame generation, so only solution is to lower the settings and enjoy the gaming. But if you need to watch movies at higher FPS, you can do it with this. As you can see here now, the movie is getting 48 FPS and it feels smooth. So that's it for this video. If you find this useful, please help me by subscribing.